Stop! Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 2 mini game review. Today we have a very special review for multiple reasons. First, we're playing another returning mini game from the original Mario Party. It's Platform Peril. But that's not all we have in store for you, you little Goombas. Because today we also have a special guest co-host. It's my friend Cohody. Yeah, thanks for having me here today. He's going to be here once a week or so playing games with me and Sarah, so I hope you guys like him. As I said, today we're playing Platform Peril. And if you don't remember from the original Mario Party, this one's pretty simple. You go through, you jump on the platforms by hitting A, and you try and be the first to the finish. Whoever is first wins. This is like an obstacle course meets a race. It did. It took two things and combined them. And then in the end, it doesn't even matter if you finish. You have to be the first one there. So it's a race and an obstacle course. Yeah, I guess I'm really not sure why it only lets the first person to reach the end win. This seems like it would have been perfect if anyone that would reach the goal would win 10 coins. But right now, you can reach the end and still lose if you're not fast. It just seems kind of weird to basically finish the minigame and get nothing for it. For being a almost however old this game is, 22 years old, I was surprised that the controls were still pretty manageable. I don't think that the reason we were falling off so often was the controls, more so just mistiming our jumps. Yeah, this one was pretty fun to play and pretty easy. I think the worst part about it was the angle. Yeah, the angle's kind of odd because you would like to maybe be pushing straight up on your control stick, but you gotta push it at like a weird 45 degree angle. Yeah, I remember having the same issue with the original minigame where I just felt having an isometric view made it harder than it had to be. And I'm kind of disappointed they carried that over into this version. I think another part about that is when you're kind of veering off to the wrong angle, you can make it so the other characters accidentally jump on top of you or that you accidentally jump on top of them. So not only do you have to watch out for the platforms that are falling or the obstacles in the middle, but you have to watch out for the other players too. Oh yeah, there's definitely been times when I've accidentally jumped on someone's head and fallen short of the next platform and it pretty much just ruins you. Yeah, you can get held up by other people too. I remember there was a few games where I was trying to get around somebody, which is also something that we kind of talked about. I wasn't sure if starting on the outside of the track was a disadvantage. They kind of do sprinkle those hazards throughout the course, but the moving platforms at the end kind of seemed like if you were on the outside, you always had to kind of scoot closer to the inside of the course, and I feel like that would slow you down, and that was one of the points where you would probably get passed by another character. For sure. I think one of my favorite things about this minigame is the beginning when they pan over everyone's faces. Yeah, we liked that. It really shows the field that you're competing against. So overall, this isn't a bad minigame. Just like in the original, it's enjoyable for what it is, but several problems kind of hinder it from being greater than it is. The angle's kind of hard to get a control over. And even if you do get to the end of the course, if you're not the first one there, you won't win this minigame, so it just seems kind of weird to not reward anyone that finishes the entire thing. For those reasons, we're going to have to give it three stars. Well, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And thanks, Cody, for joining us. Of course, I'm glad I could stop by. I, I will definitely join you again soon. And if you didn't already see this one coming, our next review will be of Psychic Safari. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then! then.